welcome to my GIS learning channel in this tutorial I'm gonna cover several topics like how to change a last class code automatically and uh, how to uh, change the class code manually and uh, at the end of this tutorial I will show you how to create digital elevation model using your LiDAR data so let's start this is uh, uh, this is my lighter data set check out the properties here here x y and z unit is in foot also you will find the coordinate uh, system information here and the statistic here our lighter data set are classified into three classes unassigned ground and bridge deck okay First, I will copy this original lighter data set. When we change the class code, uh, it will permanently change this lighter data set. So, uh, it is better to keep this original file safe by copy this file and keep this file in a safe folder. Uh, if you do any wrong, you can again use this original file. So, let's copy this and paste it here. let's remove this one and drag and drop this lighter data set here in the first step we will learn how to change this class code okay suppose you want to change this ground and bridge deck class code into unassigned so for this go to here search and type here change class Code. open this one select the input last data set and the class code again go to the properties to see what classes are available here here we have 2 and 17 okay we'll con uh, we'll change this 2 and 17 to 1 2 and click on the plus button to add this and 17 and new class will be 1 okay and check on this compute statistic option then click on ok now let's check out the properties here we have only one class code that is unassigned okay uh, as we create a digital elevation model with this large data set we will consider only the ground point so for this type here okay let's again check out this property uh, keep it as default now select this one classify last ground 3 under 3d analyst tool select your input last data set keep this as default and click on ok If you want to know how this tool work you can double click here and you will see this information only the last return of last point with class code value of 0 1 and 2 will be evaluated okay let's go to the properties again let's see how it classified the ground point click on apply here this is the building information and this is the ground information okay you can uh, create a bookmark so that when you click on the bookmark it will automatically bring you to that place what we find here these point are classified wrongly okay these are uh, not ground point uh, maybe these are building so sometimes it uh, uh, create this type of result you have to check this manually to find this okay you can easily change this and uh, now in this step I'll show you how can you change this class code manually so for this go to here go to properties and select only the ground class and let's change the symbology so the all ground point will be the same color just remove this one and choose this one 
plus attribute click on ok now apply this now in order to change this class code as it is not a ground point maybe it is a building rooftop so click on this last dataset profile view okay now create profile and these are mistakenly converted into ground class you can manually change this so for this using this select option select this point all this point and then go to the edit option and here let's uh, insert this into unassigned classes okay. click on apply then close it refresh this now you'll see uh, some portion of the point are now gone and keep this process continue to remove all this point okay So in this way you can manually change the class code when you are okay with your result uh, you can create digital elevation model with this ground point okay. let's go to the properties in the file okay before that as uh, we change the class code we have to compute the statistic for this go to the properties here and click on update the statistic and apply ok now open this now we will create digital elevation model with this ground point uh, you have to check on this class only ground and keep this as default click on ok and in the search option you will find the search option by clicking here You have to type last to raster now choose this one last data set to raster okay the input data set it will be our uh, last data set uhus raster. type the name let's say it is dem1 dot tif it will be in tip format and the value field keep this as elevation and interpolation type i am choosing this one triangulation and the interpolation method is natural neighbor you can check this uh, different method if you want to know more and the sample value it is better to choose this value a little bit higher than the point spacing between each point in order to find the point spacing go to the properties from catalog you will find this information under file tab here the point spacing is 1.354 feet so type little bit higher than that point spacing value let's say 1.5 thing as default click on ok it will create digital elevation model the second method will create digital elevation model very quickly by following this step so let's remove this one and check this and drag and drop our another lighter data set that I, I copied previously here you will see these three class and assigned ground and bridge state You can change this to class you can find this tool by right clicking on this select this one last data set 
okay you will find this one first we create a temporary last data set layer make last okay input last data set select this one okay let's say ground point and the, in the class code select only the option 2 you will find this information class 2 is the bare earth measurement and return value keep this as default it will consider all the return values but only those that are classified as ground close this turn off this layer now we will work with our uh, ground point layer go to the properties you will see this this option okay you will see there is no error here i think it gives us a better result than the previous one in the search bar type last to raster select this one last data set to raster before doing this analysis you have to go to this extension from customize and check on this okay 3d analyst okay the last data set to raster we'll select this one the ground point last data set output raster that's so it is dem2 and the value field keep this as default and the interpolation type again i will choose this one natural neighbor and the sampling value that's the 1.5 feet now it will create digital elevation model uh, i think it is very uh, simple and easy step now close this so here is our digital elevation model it shows us the elevation of the earth without building vegetation and so forth Another uh, thing is that in the digital elevation model, each pixel represent actual height relative to vertical datum. Now for better visualization, you can create a beautiful shaded relief using this digital elevation model. So for this, go to windows and select this image analysis. And in the processing, select this option shaded relief you can also create hill shade using this digital elevation model so for this in the search bar type hill shade this one hill shade 3d analyst the input raster it will be our dem2 the output raster let's say is one is the hill shed and keep this as default click on ok in my next tutorial i will show you how to create digital surface model using lighter data set hope you learn something new from this tutorial thank you